It's not uncommon to need to make an occasional edit to a database once you've already uploaded it. Let's take a look at where some of the tools are to do this and how to do some of the most common edits in Pictavo. So here we are in Manage My Photos. We're going to go to our portrait database and we can just go ahead and select whoever needs to be edited. Once we select a photo over here, any information that's tied to that photo via the database is gonna appear over in this column. We can change the portrait that's attached to this information. We can change the student's name, um, adjust the grade, their category, and their role, whether or not they're a student or a faculty member. Now, in this same window, we can also copy an image to Candid's. We can download the image, we can preview it, or we can move it to a different category. We can also duplicate this image to another category if we need a duplicate of this image someplace else for another portrait flow. Now, if you start selecting other students and realize I don't wanna select that many people, if you just click or tap on the image again, it will deselect it. Let's go ahead and select multiple students. Obviously we can't change a portrait or someone's name in a group setting, but we can reassign grades or categories or roles with more than one photo selected. We can also copy a group of portraits to candidates and we can also move to a different category. And we always also have the option of deleting candidates from this area as well. Now you'll notice that some of these portraits have a green outline and a number next to them. That means this portrait has been used in a flow already and that flow appears on page two. Now if you click on this little number, it's gonna take you out to page two so you can actually see the flow that this image is in. You can also add a student or faculty member to your database by using this icon down here. So let's go ahead and name our student, choose a grade, and we'll leave them as a student. Now we have the option here of changing the portrait. And Pictavo's default is gonna to be to use a no photo available, and there's many to choose from. You can also use this button here to go out and navigate to your computer somewhere, wherever that portrait may be. Uh, we, just for the sake of simplicity, we'll just use this guy. He looks like a Justin. So there we go. Now Justin is part of our portrait database and he also, because of how he was categorized, got flowed into the portrait flow on page two. Now keep in mind that anytime you make a change to the portrait database, Pictavo is going to update anything that you've already flowed onto your pages. It's always a good idea once you've made a change to go back out to the pages that might be affected and make sure that your portrait flows are still looking the way that you expect them to.